So last time we um, did this guy's lines and I explained how I use color coded layers and color coded lines in order to work cleaner and not erase good lines while fixing overlapping bad lines, to put it simply. And we used my original character here, his name is Fukami, which means uh, deep water. And yes, if you know what fandom I'm in, you know uh, who inspired him. Well, two guys inspired him ex actually, and only uh, one whose name could also be read as Fukami. <laughs> um, yes. So now what we do is we take the magic wand, we form multiple, apply it to connected pixels only. Need to be checked. I use area scaling of 3 pixels because my lines are 4 thixel, uh, pixels thick. This way, with the area scaling on, the line, the selection penetrates into 3 pixels into the line. If I switch area scaling off completely, what I get is this. It hugs the lines very precisely, but this can get you a choppy result, especially if you're going to flip the selection later, which is the whole point of this. So I'm going to set it back to area scaling of 3. Oh no, that was the tolerance. Yes, area scaling. There you go. See how now the selection um, goes nicely through the middle of the lines. Now, the thing that I want to show you here is, as you can see, I have selected the negative space, negative space here, here. Let's see if we can catch this. Yes, beautiful. I selected all the negative space. And now I invert it. Because if you select um, the character itself, there are so many lines in the way of your selection that you're going to have a lot of work getting a clean selection and it's still not going to be a nice clean selection. So what you do is you select all the negative space outside of the character because there are no lines getting in the way of your selection and then you flip it. Except when you have area scaling on, check how it's now, you know, how uh, the lines are, the selection is penetrating the lines now. Sometimes you have to expand or um, shrink the selection a little bit. And here you go. That's a nice good selection of the entire character. Now I already had him down here, so I'm just going to pick these colors for the color palette. As you can see here, you can have two colors in your palette at once. This is uh, really helpful. New layer, paint bucket, refill multiple. And thanks to our inverse selection, the entire character got his base color. Except I picked the wrong base color because um, if you color him, no, if you color the lines, lines li later, <laughs> um, I can't English tonight. If you make the lines lighter, you have to make sure there are no uh, dark pixels sticking out somewhere and making it all look choppy and messy and ugly. So pick a medium dark, not too light, not too dark color. Now I'm going to pick a skin for this and make that my main fill color. Now with a multiple is checked again because I don't want to uh, paint bucket the whole guy in his hair color. Boom, boom. Here you go, here you go, this. And I also used area scaling for the paint bucket here. So same principle, it penetrates nicely into the lines. So there are very few skin colored pixels where they are supposed to be gray. Now I lock the transparency. This way I can color over the lines, see? To make sure all the remaining peach pixels are covered in gray. As you can see here, if we zoom in, there's a lot of that going on. There is some real ugly anti-aliasing going on here. I don't know if I did something with the settings. So now see all the remaining pixels should be gone except in the hair tips. Always check your hair tips 
for these little leftover previous colors. Here we go. Let's do the eyes right away. That's what happens when you overdo it with area scaling. Fill it once and you see this little peach colored line. So fill it twice, the line is gone. Now I have to get back to my color palette. Eye color, clothes. All right. So where's my paint bucket? Here it is. And again, I am um, painting over the outline to make sure I don't miss any major peach colored spots. Also in the corners again here. See. And up here. That was sloppy. So. And of course, um, when working with selections, you can get these remnants here in these little nooks and crannies. The nice thing about Clip Studio, you have a third color here on your palette, which is transparency. If you uh, select that, you don't need to select an eraser because you can just draw with transparency and it basically works the same as an eraser except in the shape of your current brush. So if you like to work with really specific brush, brush shapes, you can also um, erase in this brush shape, which is really handy. I really love Clip Studio. It's really worth all the money and I should be paid for saying this. Right. His teeth are white. His eyes could be a little more golden. Yeah, I am not really um, familiar with this, with my own character yet. And again, now we got a nice basic fill thanks to inverse selection. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments and perhaps subscribe and tell me what you want to see next. See ya!